welcome to Morse's Math Morsels. This little exercise states, multiply any four positive numbers, that's a plus sign up there, positive, each one more than the last, then add one. Result is a perfect square, meaning uh, some whole number multiplied by itself, or in case of uh, fractions, decimals, whatever, uh, that being multiplied by itself. So what does this mean? I'll demonstrate with some examples. I'm going to start with some whole numbers, the familiar counting numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4. Any four numbers, each one more than the last. I'm going to choose the example 2 and 3, 4, uh, 5. Well, there are four numbers, each one being one more than the last, and I'm going to multiply them all. Let's see, you can do the 4 times 5, that's 20, 2 times 3 is 6, let's see, uh, 6 times 20 equals 120. And then add 1. Well, we have 120 plus 1, and our result is 121, which I claim is a perfect square. And sure enough, 121 is in a table of square numbers. Its square root is 11. So there's a perfect square. Uh, do another example. Some more whole numbers. All positive. I'm going to choose 5 times 6 times 7 times 8. And as before, we have four positive numbers, each one, one more than the last. And in the case of whole numbers, these numbers are consecutive. 5 is followed by 6, which is followed by 7, which is followed by 8. And do their product real quickly. Let's see, 5 times 6 is 30, 7 times 8 is 56, 30 times 56 is 1,680. Then add 1, a little pinch of 1 to this mix. 1,681, that's a squared number. And if we take its square root, uh, 41. So there's another perfect square, 1,681 one more than the product of these four consecutive whole numbers. Will this work for fractions? Yes. I'm going to do one example with fractions. I'm going to start with uh, everyone's favorite familiar fraction, one half. And let's take one more than one half. Well, that's one half plus two halves. One equals two halves, so that we're really adding on a one here. Add the numerators, keep the denominator, have three halves. And add one again, the three halves, to get our next factor, our next fraction. Add another two over two, which is one. Five halves. Oh, we're going to throw in a five halves being multiplied, and lastly, most of the numerators are each two more than one before, uh, seven halves. Let's erase this, this was just uh, showing how I was getting each fraction in turn. Product of these four fractions, one times three times five times seven, multiply the numerators, that's 105. Multiply all the denominators, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 4, and that's 8, and that's 16, 105 sixteenths. Finally, add 1, and to add the, this fraction to a whole number, I'm going to change that whole number into a fraction into some number of sixteenths, 16 sixteenths. And then I've got plenty of white space over here, I'm just going to go leftward. Add the numerators, keep the denominator, 
105 plus 16, 121. Over 16, and I'm claiming that's a square number. Let's see if we take a square root. The square of the numerator is 11. The square root of the denominator is 4. So it works with the product of four fractions, each one more than the last, yielded a rational square number, 1 to 21 sixteenths, and we added on that one. So feel free to try it out with irrational numbers, decimals. Enjoy. Thanks for viewing.